the family vacation, seeing America by car, a symbol of our modern way of life. We have become dependent upon the automobile, but as great a convenience as it is, the automobile has also helped to create some of America's most difficult problems. It uses huge quantities of energy. It is a contributor to environmental pollution. Its bulk clogs and congests our cities. Experts agree that to some of these problems, practical solutions must be found. And people are working on answers. Come, take a ride of the future. But this is not the future. This is the 70s, and you are riding PRT. PRT, Personal Rapid Transit. An alternative in urban transportation, PRT is at work here in its first practical application at Morgantown, West Virginia. Nestled among the picturesque hills on the winding Monongahela River, the city was tied up in its own traffic and parking problems. The greater Morgantown area, with a population of 50,000, had a traffic situation which was critical and typical of large urban areas. Here is the home of the state's century-old West Virginia University, with its 18,000 students and 6,000 faculty and staff. The university is located on separated campuses, about two miles apart. Six of WVU's schools and colleges are located on the downtown campus. Six other schools and colleges are on the Evansdale campus. And nearby, the medical center includes four more schools and the teaching hospital. The university is located between the city's central business district and a fast-growing residential area. There are only two through streets connecting these areas. A few years ago, during the morning and evening rush hours and during university class changes, people often spent as much as an hour in traffic. In its own right, Morgantown's problem was as frustrating as the traffic jams that strangle America's large metropolitan areas. Parking was a problem, too. Each day, there are 12,000 students and faculty trips between campuses, five peak traffic periods. WVU tried to solve this problem by operating an extensive bus system. The buses helped move people, but they also added to the traffic congestion. One solution to this urban problem is PRT, Personal Rapid Transit. Engineers throughout the world have been working to make urban rapid transit more convenient and therefore more popular. But to date, experiments have been mainly with mass transit, buses, subways, and trains. In the mid-1960s, an industrial engineer and transportation computer specialist at WVU saw the Morgantown area as a place to test a personal transportation system. That man was Dr. Sammy Elias. The PRT is called personal because the cars are small where a single passenger could ride alone, non-stop, to the destination he selected. The system is sometimes described as a horizontal elevator. There are no drivers. It is totally controlled and monitored electronically. 
the PRT is highly adaptable to the different terrain, the weather conditions, and the volume demands. About the time WVU became involved in the subject, the United States Department of Transportation initiated research, development, and demonstrations in new transit systems. The Urban Mass Transportation Administration became interested in Morgantown as a test site and funded the PRT project. The Boeing Aerospace Company of Seattle, Washington was named the system manager, responsible for design and construction of the entire project, the guideways, the cars, the control systems. Arthur Hitzman, Boeing's Morgantown program manager. The Morgantown project is the first demonstration project sponsored by the Urban Mass Transportation Administration. Its purpose is to evaluate the technological, operational, and economic feasibility of, the, of a personal rapid transit system in a real world urban environment. We at Boeing expect that these systems will be utilized throughout the country in areas which have severe concentration of people and pollution problems and will provide an alternate to the use of the automobile in these situations. Development of the guideways and stations followed traditional methods of construction. Footer designs were used to adapt to different physical requirements of the guideway and its location. Piping for a heating system was installed. During cold weather, a hot solution is pumped through these pipes to prevent rain or snow from freezing on the guideway. Steering rails are custom made to match the steering arms of each vehicle. Another distinctive aspect of the PRT construction is a series of groove-like slots which were cut into the guideway. They contain the PRT control wire. These cables will provide constant contact between each of the vehicles and the controlling computer. The loops are embedded and sealed in the slots. These trays will shield the electrical wiring. Like many other components of the system, they are several times larger than the size presently needed. This will permit future expansion. This power rail will house the muscles of the system, electricity. And conduits along the side of the guideway will carry the system's high voltage power, which will operate the vehicle. Meanwhile, the PRT stations began to take shape. Their configuration falls into two types. This station has a traffic flow-through design, and this type has an end-of-the-line guideway pattern and platform location. The stations and guideways were designed by Frederick R. Harris of Stamford, Connecticut. Years before the development of the Morgantown PRT, Research was underway at the Alden Self-Transit Systems Corporation at Bedford, Massachusetts. It was the Alden Star Car concept which Dr. Elias and his team found to be the most attractive during early feasibility studies. Alden, a subcontractor, developed the steering, power collection, and other vehicle features of the PRT. William Alden, president of Alden Corporation. The PRT cabin was also fabricated here. We use one piece molded fiberglass construction such as used with uh, boats and uh, cars. There's large windows to afford visibility for the passengers in the cabin. Another important contribution that Alden made to the Morgantown system was the steering and switching mechanisms in each vehicle. Uh, 
the PRT vehicles are guided by wheels extending from the sides of the vehicle to the guideway wall. This onboard steering is unique in that it does not require movement of the guideway itself, as trains do, permitting much closer, safe spacing between cars. World attention was quickly focused on the Morgantown PRT project and West Virginia University. John A. Wolf and West Virginia Governor Archibald Moore were under the burden Collinoso come Roma o San Francesco ha iniziato costruzione di il primo sistema di trasporto personalizzato rapido in una piccola ville di Virginia. Questo è il primo West Virginia University per la nazione's first automated rapid transit system. Questo è il primo sistema di trasporto personalizzato rapido in una piccola ville di Virginia. Questo è il primo sistema di trasporto personalizzato rapido in una piccola ville di Virginia. Questo è il primo sistema di trasporto personalizzato rapido in una piccola ville di Virginia. Questo è il primo sistema di trasporto personalizzato rapido in una piccola ville di Virginia. Questo è il primo sistema di trasporto personalizzato rapido in una piccola ville di Virginia. Questo è il primo sistema di trasporto personalizzato rapido in una piccola ville di Virginia. Questo è il primo sistema di trasporto personalizzato rapido in una on 5.4 single-lane miles of guideway. This station, in the heart of Morgantown, is the best example of the ability of PRT to adapt to an urban environment. The guideway laces around existing structures with a minimum use of ground space. It is supported from relatively small caisson bases. The guideway splits as it approaches the station and has four loading positions on each side of the building. One of the important characteristics of PRT is its potential for expansion. Additional spurs can easily be added so PRT can branch out to other areas of the community. Access to the PRT system is by use of a coded pass card which provides unlimited use for the holder. Occasional riders may use single magnetic cards. The busiest terminal on the downtown campus shows the distinctive offline nature of PRT stations. By going under the station, a car may bypass this station without slowing down. Or a car can enter the station to pick up or discharge passengers and then continue in its original direction. Or it may loop through the station and completely reverse its direction. Perhaps the most unique aspect of the PRT system is its total computer control of each car, movement, speed, and spacing. Each station has a computer which monitors and determines all of the vehicle flow in and out of that station. Incoming cars are guided to precision stops at a vacant bay on the station platform and the doors are opened by the computer to permit passengers to exit and enter. Each station is linked to the central computer where operators are on duty around the clock. They have visual displays which give them instant monitoring of the entire PRT system. PRT is termed fail-safe. If a problem should occur anywhere, the computer will automatically bring the total system to a safe operating condition. Then, by a series of monitoring devices, the control room operator is informed of the problem and the computer will print out corrective instructions. Each PRT vehicle is a complex machine with its steering, braking, control, and other subsystems. The power arms extend and retract as required to meet the configuration of the guideway.
servicing of the vehicles is performed by trained technicians in this fully equipped maintenance area. Also here is a test facility, complete with its own computer, and a storage yard. Cars not in use are routed here by the central computer to be parked during non-peak periods. Effective maintenance is one of the most important aspects of an automated transit system. Here in this PRT facility, each car receives the attention required to assure a smooth running and reliable system. But most important, the PRT design combines the element of public transportation and the convenience of the personal transit. The personal rapid transit concept has proved itself here in Morgantown. And PRT may well become the forerunner of similar projects around the world. West Virginia University is becoming a transportation research center, attracting experts in the field from all over the world. This system has become a transportation laboratory where innovations can be tested in a controlled environment. Personal rapid transit is one part of the answer to the distressing snarls of traffic which choke so many of our communities and seriously impair the lifestyle quality of civilization. Personal rapid transit, a ride of the future. <laughs>